Okay, here's another normal distribution question. Uh, in this one, we are, we have to find the mean and the standard deviation of this. So I've got a pretty good idea that I'm going to have to convert this to a standard normal distribution. So at some point, I'm going to use this formula here. Okay, so let's look at what we have. I've got the lifespan of certain batteries, and they're normally distributed. It's found that 15% of batteries last less than 30 hours. So the probability that my battery, let's call my battery is uh, is X, the lifespan of the batteries is X. Uh, probability that X is less than 30 is 15%. The probability that the batteries last more than 50 hours, so greater than 50, is 10%. Now good practice would say that X is equal to the lifespan of batteries in hours, okay? So I've got these two different bits of information. What would that look like on a normal distribution curve? Well, I don't know what the mean is, somewhere in the middle. 15% are less than 30. So there's 15% that are less than 30, and there's 10%, a little bit less, that are more than 50. All right, so my mean is somewhere in between those two things. So what I need to do is think about, well, what does this look like on a standard normal, right, with a mean of zero? What is this value here that has 15% shaded? And what is this value here that has greater than 10% shaded? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is try and find these values here. So I'll call this A and B. So the probability that Z is less than A needs to equal 15%. So if I do inverse norm on my calculator, so second vars inverse norm of 0.15 with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, I get that my A value is negative 1.03. So that's really my Z score down here okay so I could say this is my z-score negative 1.03 now for this one here I have to be careful because this is 10% well if this is 10% probability that z is greater than b is equal to 10% then probability that z, z is less than b is equal to 90% so I'm actually going to use 90 for my area to find this value here so second uh, dis second bars, inverse norm, 0.9, and I'm going to get 1.28. Okay, so I have my two z values, all right, so here's two things that I know. I know that the probability that z is less than negative 1.03 is equal to 15%. Probability that z is greater than 1.28 is equal to 10%. So now, let's convert these. I'm going to use these z-scores to help me determine the mean and the standard deviation. So let me just see if I can get, oops, different color here. Let's go with green. So using this one here, I can create this equation, negative 1.03, right? It's equal to this, x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Well, this negative 1.03 it correlates to this 30. 30 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. That's one of my equations. And the other one is 1.28 is equal to 50 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So notice what we have here. We've got two equations with two unknowns. So there's a few different ways that we can solve these. Let's get myself more space. So Here's one equation, and here's my other equation. I might just rewrite them a little bit. How about I write it like negative 1.03 multiplied by the standard deviation is equal to 30 minus the mean. And negative 1.28 multiplied by the standard deviation is equal to 50 minus the mean. All right, so some substitution or you could use polysmelt on your calculator a uh, bunch of different ways here what if i just subtract these from each other all right because then these 
means will cancel out. I'm going to get negative 20, so that's the mean minus, minus the mean, so it ends up adding it. All right, and then I'm going to do 1.03 minus minus 1.28. So negative 1.03, subtract. Well, this wasn't negative, so this is going to just be subtract that value. I'm going to get negative 2.32. Multiply by the standard deviation. So my standard deviation is equal to 20 divided by that value. 8.63. All right, let's just see if that kind of makes sense. If we've got a standard deviation worth 8.63 for the lifespan of the batteries, Let's see what we get for our mean. Now that we have that, I can use any one of these values. So maybe I'll use this one. Negative 1.0, oops, 3. Negative 1.03 is equal to 30 minus 8 point, oops, sorry, I'm trying to find the mean. I don't know the mean. Divided by 8.63. Let's rearrange that a little bit. Negative 1.03 multiplied by 8.63 minus 30 so my mean is going to be 38.9 so that is the mean battery life all right let's see if that makes sense